display. So now we're going to go ahead and dive a little bit into calibration by display type. To start off, we will cover HDTV flat panel displays and projection systems. Every display type requires a different method for calibrating the color's output. The method used depends on the following. The video source is the content from a Blu-ray player or a computer, a video output device, or something else. And the native display settings. What picture settings are available to the user? HDTV flat panels and projectors often fed from a media player have their own adjustable picture settings. These picture settings are adjusted so that the output closely matches that of the selected color standard. Either a standalone pattern source or a Blu-ray DVD disc can be used to generate these patterns for calibration. Now because the display's own internal settings have been adjusted or calibrated, the calibration remains in place once the pattern source is disconnected. The pattern source generates the patterns on the screen. The meter takes readings of the luminance and chromaticity values for the display's performance for that pattern. Calman software uses the meter readings to inform the user, with the charts and graphs, of the display's performance and the degree to which it varies from the selected standard. Either the user adjusts the display's settings based on this info, or the software can conduct the adjustments automatically if it's a display that has AutoCal support. Here's an example of a workflow that would be used in this particular scenario. This is the System Integrator Advanced Workflow. Now we're going to go ahead and switch gears a little bit and talk about computers and connected computer monitors. Because computer monitors are often lacking in picture settings, calibration data is instead stored in the computer, not the monitor itself. This calibration data takes the form of a 1D LUT and ICC profile. In most cases, the calibration data is applied to the output of the monitor only when the monitor is connected to the host computer. The calibration does not stand independently as it would with an HDTV display in the previous examples. Here is one common setup. You have a Windows laptop driving a second monitor and CalMAN is running on the laptop. Or you could have CalMAN running on a laptop calibrating a remote computer on the same network or a laptop calibrating a remote computer with the connected monitor. For all scenarios, the pattern source, which is CalMAN Client 3, generates the patterns on the screen. The meter reads the luminance and chromaticity values for the display's performance for that particular pattern. CalMAN software then uses the meter reading data to create correct correction data unique to this display's color performance in the form of that 1D LUT and the ICC profile that then gets stored in the operating system for the remote computer. Here's a screenshot of one of the workflows used for calibrating laptops and monitors connected to desktop computers. This is the monitor advanced workflow within CalMAN. Now onto video monitors or broadcast monitors, which are commonly have a video output device driving them. The native display performance can vary greatly due to differing display technologies. There are all sorts of displays in the market now. You have OLED, blue-green backlight displays, white LED LCDs. There are so many display technologies. Broadcast video monitors are fed by the video output device and they may or may not have internal picture settings available to the user. Because these internal settings are often unavailable and the source or the video output device has no adjustment settings, a different method must be used. The method is a correction matrix or a 3D LUT specific to the unique color characteristics of the monitor is generated on the secondary computer. This 3D LUT is then uploaded either into the monitor itself, an external LUT box that's in the source path, or a video editing software program such as Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve application, or Assimilate Scratch. Here is a basic configuration for a smaller studio. They have a Mac running a VMware Fusion with Windows and CalMAN, and they have Virtual Forge generating the patterns out of the output device from the Mac operating system, or you could be using the Resolver Scratch CalMAN plugin to generate these patterns, and the meter is taking readings to the video monitor. In this system, you have CalMAN running on a Windows computer calibrating the video monitor over the network by talking to the MacBook Pro. The pattern source, which again is the Virtual Forge, generates the patterns on screen from the Mac through the video output device. The meter reads the luminance and chromaticity values for the display's performance for that particular pattern. CalMAN software uses this meter reading to create correction data unique to the display's performance. The correction data or matrix is called a 3D LUT. 
the user then uploads this correction file or the 3D LUT to the finishing software, which could be either Resolve, After Effects, Scratch. There are many other applications that support this technology. Or even some software um, where you could load the LUT automatically into the display itself. Examples would be like the Panasonic Broadcast Monitor, which supports 3D LUTs.